Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to bring you a unboxing video of the Sustain 3000. It's the C3000HG. And then on top of that, I'm also going to be just giving you a breakdown of the reel and some new technology in it. Now, there was a couple delays in this. I was supposed to get it back in September and then that got delayed all the way to October. And then the company that I originally ordered from delayed it again until November. So I reordered it from another company and they got it out here in two days, which was really nice. Um, originally Tackle Warehouse had a sale on them, which was crazy because it was pre-ordered. So I pre-ordered it on in September, the beginning of September, and then they got delayed. So I'm not getting my larger ones until mid to late November, if everything pans out correctly. And it's a lot of stuff with the importations right now, so that's why. But so there's a list of uh, technology inside these reels. The Sustain 3000 HG, which, as you can see, completely not even touched yet. You got a lot of schematics, um, part numbers, and the whole sheet right here, so it does come with that. You got your T-handle for the C3000. I want to say the 2500 has the little ball handle. But here we go. So, really nice reel overall. Um, very lightweight, definitely from the last generation. Um, I have a 5000, which is a C5000. Uh, if you're not familiar with what the C stands for, it's just compact. So what you're getting is for the 3000, you're getting a 2500 body with a 3000 size spool. So a little bit more lime. With the 5000, uh, you're getting a 4000 size body with a 5000 size spool. So when I'm going for tarp and crevel jacks, I'll usually go with the 5000. When I'm going for just snook trouts and reds, um, I'm usually going with the C3000. I like more line. Uh, a lot of people who are going, you know, really close inshore, more backwater, they, they'll usually just go with the 2500 or 4000 size. So this is a really nice reel. Um, the drag sounds great on here. Um, overall, it's just beautiful, beautiful matte black on there. The gold is a, a more metallic kind of like bronze, almost like a copper kind of yellow to the gold on there. And there's a little gold ring over here too. So it's just pretty much black, a little bit of silver and gold. Um, so the technology in here, I'm just gonna read, read it right off to you. So we got the MGL spool, the Hagani gear, micro module two, X ship, Hagani body, CI4 plus, Magnolite rotor, long stroke spool, silent drive, G free body, the propulsion line management, Rigid support drag, one piece bail, SARB, cross carbon drag, and X protect. Okay, so that's a lot to go through. So the MGL spool is uh, just kind of right here where it's all carved out. Um, it, just the Magnolite spool, it's just there to kind of more of like a Daiwa with their air bales and all that, just to remove a lot of the weight from the reel. The Hagani gear is just the uh, gears in here, which is an older technology that's been around for a long time. And uh, the micro module two is the is the new technology in here also is the, which is actually really nice for to see this in just a you know three hundred dollar reel the micro module two you've been seeing in more of the Stellas you've been seeing them in the newer twin powers the XDs they're really nice um, to see it in this one the X ship the and the Hagani body those are two older technologies um, they've been out for a while the X ship is for the saltwater corrosion resistance. Hagani body's the body on here. The CI4 Plus is an older technology, which is really nice to see it on here too. Um, I have old CI4 Plus Stratic, uh, one of my favorite reels is one of my go-tos. Long stroke spool is another new technology that was on the older Stellas uh, a couple of years ago. They brought it into the FLs, uh, the Stratic FLs. They brought it into the new Van Fords. They brought it into the new Twin Powers. So it's kind of going all over the line of their reels. And then we also have, uh, let's see here, the Magnolite rotor, the long stroke spool, the silent drive. Uh, it's a new technology in here also. We have the G-free body, the propulsion line management system, rigid support drag, one piece bail, all new technologies right there. Uh, the cross carbon drag system is another um, technology. That's the actual drag, um, the washers in here and the drag washers. And then the X-Protect is another saltwater corrosion resistant system in here, which is really nice um, to have that in the saltwater reels. Uh, overall, I think this is a beautiful reel. I would 
I'm gonna buy a couple more of these for sure. Uh, the plan is to replace a lot of my older uh, systems. Now, something I will see with, with this, it is made in Malaysia, so it's not one of their Japanese made reels. Um, which I gotta say, a lot of the Malaysian made reels, I've had no problems with the, uh, I mean, my older CI4 pluses are all Malaysian made. I have them for eight, nine years now, so they're doing great. Uh, let's actually break this down. So on the reel, we're pushing, uh, let's see, nine kilograms, 20 pounds of drag, which is really nice to see on a small 3000 size reel, something this lightweight. Uh, we got, let's see, braided line looking at eight pound at 170 yards well that's actually mono so we're looking at probably almost 200 to 225 yards of i would say 10 pound which is going to be crazy on there um actually i just pulled this one up so this is another one that i have right here so i bought a couple of these i'm just blown away by them super lightweight i got it paired up on a new rod too this is going to be the 7.6 medium fast mojo um, I got a couple of these rods that I've been running and reeled in everything from 35, 40 inch snooks, uh, big reds, whole bunch of trouts. It's a very sensitive rod. For the money, I think the Mojo Inshore is one of the best rods on the market. And then for the reel, the FL has been one of the top competitors right now for the reel market, definitely for the inshores. I think this is going to knock it down. This is just mixing that Van Ford, the Twin Power, the FL is just taking all the technology out of all of them making it super lightweight this is ridiculously light if you picked up one of the van fords it's a little heavier than that but with the technology in here i i'm going to sacrifice those ounces and i'm going to take this guy over the van ford for sure uh it's going to be nice to really test it out today i'm going to go out for some big jacks just to see if i can rip have them rip some drag out and just kind of break it in but great beautiful reel i can't very smooth there's no haven't put it in the water yet, so won't be hearing much, but it is really nice overall. Uh, I'll take it apart because I know a lot of you guys like to see the internals of this. So one thing that I, I'm not a giant fan of is, is the plastic right here. That's uh, just one of the things I've seen them wear down, a really easy part to replace, but it is it is polymer right there. I'm, I would prefer more of like a metal coating, at least on the outside of it, just to keep the wear and tear. Uh, it is sealed, so there is a sealing right there. Let's see if I can get the... There we go. So it's sealed really well. I can see this reel lasting a long time for saltwater use. And we also have... This guy has like a plunger on here just to hold it in underneath, which is really nice to see. I think this is beautiful overall. Like I can't... Couldn't picture them doing much better with this reel. So there's a whole... There's a, list of all the technology on there too the mgl the x protect everything so it is uh really nice overall i like how this kind of holds in there too so it doesn't really just get locked out it won't be dropping in the water if you go to over loosen it or you have to take it apart it will just stay in there which is really nice but uh the rod this is going to be going on right now uh, i got two of them so i got one on the seven six mojo and i got one over here for the seven foot avid both of them are medium actions. I'm getting a 4,000, um, which is going to end up going on the uh, 7.6 Mojo medium heavy. And that's going to be more trying to target the bigger snooks off the bridges. Probably going to be targeting, a, you know, some of the Crevel jacks and stuff like that with that rod. But a uh, new arsenal of rods, really nice. Just um, my go-to rods are St. Croix. Just going to throw that out there. So it's, uh, if you guys know what I'm pairing them up with. If you're looking in, in the market for rods, this one's been out for a long time. The new Mojos have been out for about a year now. And then um, they, I think this reel, these rods, they're going to go together perfectly. Overall, I'm going to say for a 10-minute breakdown, this is just a beautiful, beautiful reel. Can't get over it enough. Um, if you guys have the opportunity to go check them out, definitely go take a look at them. They, I think they're going to be worth the money for sure. I think they're coming in at about $300 uh, plus tax. So right now you're probably not going to be seeing them in the stores for another couple weeks. Um, at least I know I had to order mine and luckily I got it in time. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching the review and uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to try and drop some more product reviews and uh, just I'll give you guys an update on in a couple weeks of how the reel performed and I'll try and post a couple pictures.
Take care. Bye.